What's up, Femi? Ah, uh, what's up, man? You good? Why don't you start off by introducing yourself? Nah, man, I go by uh, Black Superstitions, but the actual name is Ubenele Le Shabang. I'm from Joburg and the township 1632, Tembisa, you know, and yeah, that's what I'm about. So what do you enjoy doing around Cape Town? And around Cape Town, you know, it's we play some, you know, we out here, you know, we 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 on that. You know, we keep it good, we keep it up, we keep it cloud nine, you know? That's what I am about, you know, like seeing, um, you know, the like nature basically, God's creation, you know, like going to the mountain and shit like that. I never like a routine type of, of vibe, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not into routines. So like, yeah. So your producer Stone Death. Yeah, Stone Death. Uh, how Stone closely D. do you work with Stone Death? We're on some real buzz, you know, like it's so close in a in a in a a point where to a point where like I even told him about a project that I wanna drop, you know what I'm saying? I'm like art for the blind and whatnot and whatnot. But I told him about that last year and I told him, yo and it's like he started making beats by then. But then I told him, yo, I wanna make a project with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I gave him that responsibility that you are part of this project so you also have to contribute into making it fire and whatnot, you know? Yeah. Basically it's just like deeper than music man. It's a homie right there, you know what I'm saying? So like yeah. yeah well, the name is Stone Death. Yeah, Stone Death <laughs> Yeah yeah. Young yeah, boy from the Val O and Six, but I'm out here in Cape Town. Uh I study civil engineering at the University of Cape Town. But that's not what I do. What I do is uh, is music. I produce write raps, sometimes I write poetry, sometimes I dabble in stuff like painting, drawing, I'm strumming the guitar from that time, yeah. So how do you meet Benzo? <laughs> God damn, yeah, yeah, that's a, okay, so yeah, I got here to Cape Town, but I was supposed to move into Claremont, and the building there was, it was being renovated, so they moved me to town, and when I got here to town, they told me that, yo, you're gonna get a sharing room, which is not what I paid for. So I was like, yo, what's up with that, right? So I get here and I find Benzo in the room, right? I greet him, we don't talk much, but I was with the girl that time. And this nigga, all his attention went to the girl. I don't know what he was trying to do there. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but okay. So yeah, 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 so I let that slide, right? And then later on in the day, Niggas like, yo, man, I'm hungry, dog. Do you want to get some food? And I'm like, I don't want to give food with you, bro. But I, <laughs> I was hungry, so I wasn't, <laughs> you know, going to let my pride get in the way. So I'm like, oh, wait, yeah, let's go get some food. So we go get some food, buy some pizzas. Then we ate a pizza. Then we went and got, like, a couple of beers. Then we just chatted the whole time. We didn't even talk about music, I think, for the first few days. I didn't know he was a rapper. He didn't know I made beats. So yeah, but it was just so yeah. So I think the friendship was kind of genuine and not like based off of I need a rapper, I need a producer type thing. So yeah. It's cool as a motherfucker up in this bitch. Hey. 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 Let me tell you about the first time I listened to music. I was like I think five, maybe five four. I stole my dad's CD, like a dad, like one of my dad's music CDs, and I put it into the, to the, what's it called? Home, Home studio, hi, or hi-fi, what? Yeah, back there, yeah, that, yeah. that, that hi-fi thing. I put it in there, bro, and the sound that came out the speakers was the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. It was Mozart, right? And I was like, what? So like, that's the first time I really like, listened to music. So, can you talk me through your creative process for making music? Well, my creative process, bro, it started off as, you know, like, I was in, probably like, I started listening to the likes of Immortal Technique at like grade five, six, you know? My brother got me onto that. And then, once I was on that, um, I grew up going into high school, and then my friends were like, yo, you should rap because I used to recite lyrics, you know, from Mortal Technique and some other people, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I, 
Uh, but then I didn't take it seriously, you know. But somehow when I was in matric, I decided to start writing, you know, just, you know, just fuck around a bit. And then, like, I was like, actually, I'm actually liking this. I'm liking where I'm going. I'm liking what I'm doing. Gave it off to a first few friends. I was like, yo, listen to this. You know, just rapping it, nothing recorded and nothing like that. Then they were like, nah, nah, it's tight, it's tight. Then I started feeling the beats. I started listening to just beats and instrumentals. So from there on, I'd say I came from trying to write like Emoto Technique, to trying to write like Joey Badass, to trying to write like Most Def, to trying to write like Commons, to trying to write like KRS, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I have to find my own style to this and how I do it and where I do it, you know what I'm saying? So I was like, okay, maybe if I get out of Joburg, because there was a lot of trap niggas back then, you know what I'm so saying? So you say moving to Cape Town has evolved? who you are as an artist? Devs, definitely, on, on the real. Like, I met free-spirited people here, you know what I'm saying? Like, people that are not gonna judge you for what they've been told in the past or, or, or what they think they know about you, you know what I'm saying? Because I came here and I came across new people that don't know what to expect, what they could find in me, you know what I'm saying? And for me, it's great to just give them that element of surprise that, yo, this is what I do, this is what I'm about, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, yeah, man. Uh, what do you hope to get out of music? Uh, freedom. Oh, uh, mic check, 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 check it out, yo. Mic check, 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 flip it up, yo. Mic check, 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 check it up, yo. Oh, yo, this is the real shit. And then I flip it like I don't know what a script is Matter of fact, I'm tired of rapping I actually wanna preach as these bars compliment stars Or being fetched for, oh yes, they're out of reach The line between myth and reality has been breached Now I got monsters ink roaming the streets uh, Listen to the prophet as soon as I speak No visions of prophet, I just wanna teach Cause it all doesn't matter once you're underneath The only thing you can take with you are your memories the, uh, Tell your baby girl forget about accessories Unless she believe in Egyptian mythology Apologies, cause it's Mr. Bandit Killer, master of the physical, the casket fills up. When the pastor drops a blim and knows the message, heals ya. As raptures of biblical disasters and lyrical, my rhyme scheme on a killing spree. That's critical, I might need a session therapy. Heard I'm cynical, but trust me, when I write these, I'm empirical, heretical. The sound is not identical, don't make me turn skeptical. Soon as we say I hear something like this, you should take my testicles. Matter of fact, I'm with the clan and they show me my potential. The mic may Make me so timid, I guess that's the camera too, but then I'm in it. I'm here for the digits, the business, the real shit, and flip it, flip it, then I kill it. The people know that how we do it with the music. Matter of fact, I abuse it. Oh. Yo, who was stone deaf? Be the boy kicking up beats like a top chef, strumming the guitar like you white cliff and rapping like you most deaf. Be a black star. You gotta shine the rich real far, feel real free when I'm dropping the bars On a quest to become the car, dangerous like a Jafar Stick to the point like a pencil or a dot And it's true, I got the soul like my do. I do anything for the crew, Gemini like a coupe Or a double-sided coin, lend your ears to the boy Sit back, relax, enjoy the story I gotta tell I'm graceful like a gazelle, with the art of Raphael Me and the thick are parallel, never crossing this is never dirty, mouth clean without the flossing. Yo, who was stone deaf? That's me. Say, who was stone deaf? That's me. me. I roll up the weed till I can't feel my knees. Feeling like an amputee. Who gets stone like Don D? That be nobody. nobody. When I'm done, play the roots, they lift me up like I'm a tree. Can't wait for my fans overseas. Uh, check. I said, I can't wait for the fans overseas. Stone D. Stone D. Gang shit.